Hey guys, and I hope you guys are doing well. I just wanted to come and do a short video that I've been trying to get done for the last three weeks. But since I have been busy, um, I haven't slowed down, so I hadn't had a chance to do that. But as you see now, I've slowed down a little, so I am getting that video done now. About three weeks ago, I had two signings. One was a HELOC and one was a seller signing. But they allow they um made me have to do some sacrificing in order to get them done. So for those of you that don't know, I live in Tallahassee, Florida, which is in the panhandle of Florida. So about three weeks ago, on a Wednesday morning, I had a HELOC, and then the next day, I had a seller signing. Well, the HELOC was in Apalachicola, and Apalachicola is about two hours from Tallahassee, and the signing was at 8 o'clock in the morning. That meant that I would have had to leave my home at 6 o'clock in the morning because I want to usually make it to my signings between 5 to 10 minutes early. So I had to get up at 5 which means I had to leave my house at 6 in order to get there by 7.55 for a 8 o'clock HELOC signing. And I did. Um, it was very uh, stressful, maybe, I could say. Because um, for those of you that don't know, I'm also a remote online notary. And the night before, I had my notary shift from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. So once my notary shift online was over I had to then prep my documents then of course go to bed get up at five o'clock a.m. the next morning get dressed and leave at 6 a.m. to make it to the HELOC at 8 a.m. which I did with no problem I got there at 755 not to mention that it was raining buckets um, from my home all the way there and of course I had to go out in the dark so the next day I had a seller signing. The seller signing was scheduled for 10 a.m. and the seller signing was in East Point, Florida, which is an hour and a half from my home. So once again, I needed to leave at eight o'clock in order to make it uh, there at 10 and with traffic, with everyone going to work, they have to be there between eight and nine. So I got up at seven the next day which was that Thursday and got dressed left at 8 to get there by between 8.50 and 8.50 um, excuse me 9.50 and 9.55 which I did um, got the seller signing done and then you know came on back home but I know you guys are probably asking what was the fee that I accepted for both of these signings? So for the HELOC, the fee that I agreed to was $80. And for the uh, seller signing, the um, fee that I agreed to was 75 So when I said that I was available for these signings and I did them, the first thing that I thought was, would other notaries have accepted these signings with the conditions that it took to get them done. And so I said that I was going to come on here and I was going to tell you guys about these signings. And I was going to ask you, would you have done them if you were able to and you had received these notifications? So that's my question. So once again, I had a HELOC that I got paid $80 to do. It was two hours from my home. I had to get up way early in the morning had to get up at five leave my house at six to make it to the appointment at eight o'clock next day i had to get up at seven to leave here at eight to get to the signing at ten o'clock that was the seller's package and that was 75 dollars. so tell me down below if you had received these notifications at the fee amount that they were offered would you have accepted them if you could have if you would have Put a one down in the comments. If you would not have accepted these signings at the fee amount that they were sent out, um, put a two in the comment section. But I also want you to tell me why you would not have accepted them if you were able to. 
I just want to see where we are as notaries and why um, why you would have or why you wouldn't have. So I'm ready to see the discussion. I'm ready for us to have discussion about this because I know a lot of people say that unless it's a hundred dollars, I'm not leaving my home or unless it's a hundred and twenty five dollars, I'm not leaving my home. But I figured I was available. These were signing services that I had worked with before, and I know that they are the, the the fees were reasonable based off of where I had to go, and they were okay for me, which is why I said I was available, and which is why I accepted both. But I can't wait to see what you guys have to say. So until next time, happy stamping and signing.